I was conceived out of abuse and raised in foster care. But I'm so grateful my mom chose life. Pro-abortion activists sometimes argue that abortion is acceptable if there is a fear that the child will grow up in foster care. But abortion isn't the solution to suffering children. Bettering the foster care system is the solution. My mom always says that when she saw me with my hands resting beneath my head as a baby on the ultrasound, she knew she loved me and would give birth to me. To say that growing up in the foster care system was adverse seems like an understatement. But my mom heroically and bravely chose not to eliminate the potential sufferer, me, and because of her choices, I am now a woman who spends her time passionately advocating to eliminate the suffering of those in the womb and in foster care. Yes, the foster care system is a broken system, but that's not a reason to stay away from it. In fact, that's actually the reason we should embrace it, to do our part to better the system. There are no better people than the bold, loving, pro-life people who rise up as community supporters, foster care families, and respite care providers to provide compassion for the children born into this world. My husband and I are foster parents for that very reason, but there's so much more we can do and should do for the kids and families who are part of the foster care system. Before even engaging with the argument that children being entered into the foster care system is a reason for abortion, we must first engage with this system and help fix what is broken. If a person has cancer, we don't kill them. We try to find the cure. If a child may enter the foster care system, our objective isn't to kill the human being, but to find a safe home for the child and improve the system itself. By standing up as pro-life people, rising up as church members, becoming foster families, or creating community programs of support for foster kids and their families, we do bring a broken system, a sense of peace and stability. But more than that, we give birth moms, moms who strongly choose life, hope for the future in their children. The foster care system needs pro-life advocates. The foster care system needs individuals who will unapologetically choose life at every stage. How can we say we are advocates for life, good lives for people when we want to eliminate their chances altogether? If we genuinely love, we must undoubtedly choose life, not just in our marches and at our pregnancy centers, but in our backyards, in our homes, and in our foster care system. Being raised by the government is not an ideal situation, and foster care is full of hardships. But life is full of sufferings, and our objective as social justice advocates and activists should not be to eliminate the people, but to eliminate the suffering.